Anthony Militech from uh, KFib Memories Message Board, you always trash the guy, so why are you part of the Hulk Hogan and Friends tour? I'm not part of the Hulk Hogan and Friends tour. In fact, after I said I was going to slap Bubba's ass with a miracle whip, Bubba pulled his ace in the hole and told Hogan that if he continued to use me, then uh, he Hogan couldn't be on his radio show anymore, and he wouldn't promote any more of Hogan's nonsense. So Hogan had uh, Jimmy Hart call and fire me because Hogan wasn't man enough to do it himself. And uh, now Bubba's not on radio anymore. He's just a local DJ in Tampa. He can't do a lot for Hogan, but the Hogan and tour... Will it ever go anyway? Will it go anymore? Who knows? So Jimmy Hart's not with the tour anymore. Once Jimmy had a chance to get away from Hogan and TNA, he broke away, gave his notice, and he told uh, several people one of the reasons he got away from Hogan was the way Hogan handled my situation. Very good, Michael Rubin. Hey, Hockey, is Hogan really a douchebag backstage? And what is his relationship like with Savage? I don't know that him and Randy have much of a relationship. I do know that he mentioned to me when we were in Vancouver on a Hogan tour that he was in the hospital or at the doctor's office and was laying there having some medication done and Macho Man s stepped in the room and I guess said hello and maybe the hatchet was buried there but who knows. And he is a dick backstage. Dave says in his shoot interview from last year, KKB buried you. He called you an ungrateful turd and too ignorant. He also said that if it wasn't for Hulk Hogan, you'd still be in Calgary starving. What are your views on Bundy <laughs> and your views on what he said? Did I put Bundy in that dick bag? You did. <laughs> Bundy has a short memory, obviously. He's had some memory loss. He doesn't remember, I guess, when he came down from the coast of New Jersey driving a little yellow Toyota station wagon and he weighed 500 pounds and it was leaned all the way over like this. He had a full head of hair and Jack Mulligan was the promoter and sent him to Atlanta to do TV in Atlanta and a fellow named Gary Hart was in Atlanta who was booking Dallas, Texas for the Von Ericks. Saw Bundy, they put him on a TV job match in, on Atlanta TV saw Bundy and asked him would he like to come to Dallas. He wanted him to shave his head and he's going to give him the name King Kong Bundy. Bundy came back to Knoxville on Sunday after the tapings on Saturday, asked me what I thought about it, and I said if Gary Hart's going to book you there and give you that name, Gary Hart is going to make you a big star. Consequently, he left the Mulligan territory and went on to be King Kong Bundy. So if I'm a cocksucker or dickhead, Bundy, at least call me a good one. Yeah, did, did you ever have problems when you were working together? Never, yeah. ever, mm. ever. No. Okay. No, the only problem we ever had once was we were in, uh, gosh, down here in Pennsylvania at this place called uh, The Lagoon. Just off, by, down from the airport. It's a, a hotel and a restaurant and a big bar out on the, out on the pier. We were having a wrestling show there. And Bunny and I were out doing our Polaroid photos. And it's a funny story, but it's nothing personal. I don't hold it against him. If I did, I'd tell him, I'd let me have the money back. My Polaroids were not working that night. So I had taken about 15 of them. And people started coming back, wanting me to redo them or give them a refund. Well, my film was all gone. It was none of it was any good. Mm -hmm. So I said, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll be back at intermission and... I'll redo them. And Bundy said, oh, man, why don't you go ahead and give those people back their money? You know that fam's a shits. I said, they, they walked away. I said, you shut the fuck up. Because that was really, that was none of his business to say anything. But in intermission, I had my match before intermission. I got in the car and left. I didn't give a refund to anybody. Fuck them. <laughs> Lest we forget what business this is. Look, I don't refund anything. Don't you understand? Keep calling Bundy shooter of you. Bundy says when you guys go out to eat, you don't like to leave a tip. So why are you being so cheap at the restaurant? What he says kind of reminds me of an opening scene from the movie Reservoir Dogs with Steve Buscemi, where he plays Mr. Pink, and Mr. Pink never tips, and apparently you don't either. So what's up with that? Yeah, film reference and everything in there. Uh, yeah, I'll give you a tip, you little fucking skinny bag of bones. Get another fucking job. Look, if I throw all my money away to some dipshit that can't bring my food the way I want it, if I give him 5 or $10 every day and they fuck my food up, 
I ain't got no money to feed my own kids now. I don't got any money to give my little daughter the kind of shoes that she likes. I can't buy her her Barbie dolls. And I, if I remember correctly, now why don't you ask Bundy the same thing? I don't recall that fat motherfucker ever leaving a tip anywhere.